Tax dollars fund nonprofit hospitals, but a new report has some questioning if those hospitals are providing enough charity care to justify those tax breaks. The National Desk's Angela Brown is going through the report this morning. What'd you find? Good morning. Well, good morning to you, Jan. Well, nonprofit hospitals are exempt from most taxes in exchange for helping the poor, like providing uh, free health care to people without insurance. But a new report says overall, nonprofit hospitals took in more in tax exemptions than they provided charity care. Now, here's the study we have for you that's raising eyebrows this morning. Just released from the Kaiser Family Foundation, nonprofit hospitals took in nearly $28 billion in tax exemptions in 2020, while providing roughly $16 billion and charity care. This information coming at the same time, nonprofits are under the microscope. Yale researchers found that they were more likely to sue patients for medical bills than their for-profit counterparts. They've taken people to court for bills that are as low as uh, in a couple hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, knowing that their customer base is not going to really be able to defend themselves in a situation like that. Now, you just heard from Paul Siegert. He's a managing partner at PCS Advisors, a health benefits consulting firm. Now, he is tracking another trend. Nonprofit hospitals closing in poorer areas while opening in more affluent communities, a trend recently documented by the Wall Street Journal. A move Siegert says some are doing just to survive. Really, what they're trying to do is change their customer base. And they're doing that because... I think it points to a bigger problem that we have systemically in our payment model, which is that Medicare and Medicaid payments do not cover the actual cost of care in many cases. But there are other recent reports indicating some positive changes. Uh, studies published in JAMA found roughly 84% of nonprofit hospitals updated their charity care policies during the height of the pandemic. Meanwhile, some state lawmakers are actually the ones kind of taking action here. For example, in Minnesota, lawmakers introduced a bill to require hospitals to screen patients for eligibility for health coverage or help. Also mandate an expert review before pursuing debt collection and hospital charges limited for uninsured treatment.